Tonight, we talked to a mother who would be affected by changes to SNAP. We've been telling you for months the state wants more adults to essentially work for their benefits. Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton spoke to a single mom who says the new rule would break her. Selena Blea won't hesitate to tell you this isn't the life she wants to live. It's very difficult. We share a bedroom. My son's 13, my daughter's 8, and there's me. Blea and her two kids live with her brother. She's unemployed and uses SNAP benefits, also known as food stamps, to feed her family. She says she's applied to several jobs, but no luck. For some reason, I can't catch a break. How does it make you feel? Like a failure. Um, to me, to my kids, to my mom. Just all around, I feel like I failed. And things could get worse. Those benefits she relies on could soon be tougher to get. The state wants people with children older than six and no job to do 80 hours of community service a month to stay on SNAP. Since she's not pregnant or disabled, Blea falls into that category. But she has no car and no one to take care of her kids and says doing volunteer work would be impossible. It's really hard because I've already felt like I need, that I want to give up. I don't want to see my kids struggle. The state insists these wouldn't be new rules, just to return to the way things were before the recession. But all Selena wants is for the state. It would just it would be amazing if the state actually looked at everybody's cases with reason. To understand what it means for families like hers. Matt Howerton, KOAT, Action 7 News.